Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, I had a voice for radio, so today I am showing you an incredibly exciting new GX card from the upcoming Ultra Prism expansion, and this card does something that, as far as I'm aware, and I've asked a few of my friends, and they seem to back me up on this, has never been done in the Pokemon trading card game before. And if that's not exciting, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what is. It's Dialga GX. Now, as has been the case quite a lot lately, this was translated by the lovely Rappelman TCG, Mr. David Hockman himself. Big up to David, make sure you're following Rappelman TCG on Facebook. This is a dragon Pokemon, and I'm going to say for this what I said about Garchomp. Being dragon Pokemon suck because it means that you're not hitting for weakness on anything. Dialga is going to be dragon or it's going to be metal. If it's metal, it's hitting weakness against Gardevoir, which is really good. That is an excellent thing. Not being a metal Pokemon, being a dragon Pokemon kind of sucks. Now, it does have the advantage that it gets to use Devoured Field. Devoured Field mean that all of your dragon Pokemon do 10 more damage with their attacks. This is lovely. It means you get to hit the numbers better. And you can see from the attacks that it's got metal energy. That is good. Because we've got a lot of options for that. We've got Solgaleo GX and Soul Burst GX. Lets you accelerate metal energy. Registeel from Crimson Invasion. Okay, that will accelerate any kind of energy. But it needs to use metal energy. So let's face it, it basically accelerates metal energy. Not to mention the Magnazone that we spoiled a couple of days ago that we showed on this channel. That allows you to attach as many metal energy during your turn as you like. We're going to see with a GX attack. We need to be accelerating energy energy here and there's plenty of options at the moment if you want to accelerate energy metal is the best type to accelerate of course it is weak to fairy which is a real pain having said that with cards all these metal cards we're getting at the moment including the new solgaleo gx that i've talked about a lot that can ko it for a double colorless while accelerating energy i'm not convinced that gardevoir is going to be that great when Ultra Prism comes around, and if that turns out to be true, it's not going to be a terrible weakness to have. Retreat cost of 3 is high, but actually, you get to use Heavy Ball, we can live with this, and 180 HP is completely and utterly standard for a basic GX Pokemon. Now, there's two things I really, really like about this card. The first one is the first attack, one Metal Energy, draw cards until you have six in your hand. It's a consistency boosting attack. But if you've got a consistency boosting attack, there are two things that you want. You want it to be on a basic Pokemon, and you want it to be for either zero energy or one energy attachment. There's no point having a consistency attack that takes two or three turns to get going. If it's a consistency boosting attack, you want it to be for one or zero energy on a basic Pokemon so that you can be using it on turn one. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, Dialga checks both of those boxes. Now, it's not quite as good as Shuffle Draw. Shuffle Draw is something like an N. Or we're getting Cynthia in the new set, which is just Professor Oak's new theory. Shuffle draw means no matter how large your hand is, you get a new hand. Drawing, well this is Shaman, this is Shaman in an attack. Draw until you've got six cards in your hand. And as anyone that's used Shaman or Octillery will know, sometimes this is rubbish. Because you've got such a large hand, you don't actually get to draw any cards. But between things like Ultra Ball and all the Pokemon you can play and energy and all of that, you should be able to... Get a few cards out of your hand so you can draw some cards with this. This is not going to be necessarily your preferred attack on turn one of every game. But it means you've got that consistency option available to you and it's great. Maybe it's not as good as Alolan Vulpix which just allows you to search for two Pokemon for zero energy. Okay, fine. Maybe it's not a perfect attack. But if you're playing the card anyway, it gives you a great consistency boost. As the only thing in the card's favour, I don't know if I'd want to play the card just for that. But as a great consistency boost on a card you're playing anyway, that's pretty good. The second attack here is also pretty interesting, but it has a very niche use. For a metal double colourless, which means you can use double colourless energy to pay the cost here, you get to do 80 damage 
and it's not affected by any effects on the opponent's active Pokemon. Well, this is really quite handy. Let's say you take something like a Jolteon EX. Jolteon EX uses its Flash Ray attack, and then it cannot be touched by basic Pokemon the following turn. That's really annoying, but Dialga goes completely through that and just attacks it anyway. That is absolutely brilliant. One thing this will actually work really well for is something like, let's go Zerkatry GX, that has the same ability as Slash EX. It cannot be affected by anything that's got a special energy attached. Well, great news here, even if you put a double colorless energy on Dialga, you can just hit straight through, get that Zerkatry, because you know what? You don't care about its ability, it gives an effect, you are absolutely fine. Although having said that, expensive metal decks in the future are probably going to be using basic energy. Whether it's for Registeel, whether it's for Magnazone, whether it's for the new Solgaleo, all of these accelerate basic energy. So even though you can use double colorless for Dialga, I'm not 100% sure you're going to particularly want to do so, though it is an option. I suppose while we're talking about accelerating energy, we should mention that Max Elixir is an option here, because you're going to be using basic energy. This is a basic Pokemon, so you could just use Max Elixir to try and accelerate energy to Dialga. Look at the top six cards of your deck. As long as Dialga's on the bench and you can find a basic energy in your top six cards, you can attach it to Dialga and off you go. This isn't really hitting any numbers, though, this particular attack. With a Choice Badge, you hit up to 110. At a Devoured Field, you hit 120. If you were hitting for weakness, this would be brilliant. But you're not hitting for weakness. It's a dragon Pokemon. You're hitting nothing for weakness. Decent attack, two hit KOing, goes through effects. It's fine. And in some decks, sometimes you need one of these kind of attacks. It's Shred. It's always Shred. These kind of attacks are always called Shred. We've seen them time and again. And actually, we've generally seen them on dragon Pokemon. Sometimes somebody will come with a deck like Jolteon, etc., which is trying to take advantage of the meta at the moment. Too many basic Pokemon. Nobody's playing Pokemon Ranger. I'm going to beat everyone with Jolteon. Well, this gives you an option if somebody goes and tries to do that. But I promised you something that Dialga does that no Pokemon has ever done before. Here it is. It gives you two turns in a row. The GX attack actually gives you two turns in a row. Now, attacking ends your turn. Dialga GX attack for five energy. We'll get to that in a second. 150 damage. After this turn is over, you get another turn. You literally get two turns in a row. I told you Alolan Golem GX's attack was worth testing because it stopped your opponent playing any cards from their hand the following turn. Which was as good as them not really having a turn, except they got to attack. This is even better than Alolan Golem, because your opponent doesn't even get a turn. They don't draw a card, they don't get an attack, they literally don't get a turn. Oh yeah, and it's a basic Pokemon to boot. This is utterly ridiculous. Now the attack cost is huge. Free Metal and a Double Colorless. But as I've said, between Magnazone especially, Red Jai Solgaleo, we've got options for getting the energy on there. This is not as terrifying an attack as it could be. If it was Psychic, Psychic, Psychic double colorless, that could be horrific, but it's not. It's metal. That gives you an option. It also has a cardinal sin of needing extra energy just for your GX attack. So if you go and put five energy on a Dialga, you get one attack and then the rest of your attacks will only ever be free energy. You put two energy on there just for the GX attack and I don't even care. It's that gosh darned good. Now the thing is, after you attack with Dialga, you're probably not going to attack with it again, because then you're only doing 80 damage the following turn, that's a bit rubbish. But with Choice Band and Devoured Field, you're hitting 190. That's enough to KO a whole bunch of Pokemon in the format, like Turtonator GX, like Drampa GX. And actually, if you're willing to add a Professor Kakui on here, then you can actually be KOing stuff like Zoroark GX doing 210. And then you get another turn. If you do this properly, if you time it properly, get it? Because Dialga's a time Pokemon here all week. You get four prizes 
essentially in one turn because your opponent doesn't get a turn in between. And actually, while we're here, if you're in the best of three scenario, if time is called and there are three remaining turns, if you're turn two and your opponent's turn three, you can actually use this, so your turn two and turn three, to take away your opponent's last turn of time and the turn in which they may be winning. If they've got game next turn, but they've only got one turn because it's a best of three end game scenario, you can actually use this to make sure your opponent doesn't get another turn and literally win the game. Now, it's really expensive, so it's not a card you're just going to be randomly playing by itself. But we've got so many options. If you're playing a Magnezone deck, you get to attach as many Metal Energies you like during your turn. This is a basic Pokemon. It's a complete no-brainer. If you're playing the new Solgaleo GX, where you're playing Double Colorless Energy for Solgaleo, and you're playing Metal Energy and you're accelerating two energy from your discard to one of your bench Pokemon every time you attack, it's a no-brainer as a one-off Pokemon, because this GX attack is nuts. And even the first attack is really good for early game consistency. If you've had a bad start, if you've got nothing in your hand, this is great for early game consistency. But a GX attack, which is powerful enough to take two prizes off a GX, and then immediately give you another turn, that has got to be worth testing, ladies and gentlemen. It is, quite frankly, nuts. If you're not playing Magnazone, if you're not playing Solgaleo, maybe it's not worth it. Maybe it's too expensive. But it's an amazing tech in more than one deck. For that reason, I'm giving it four Wossies. And let's be clear about this. The first attack is brilliant as early game consistency. The GX attack is amazing in that it can let you take four prizes and win the game. The only reason it's not a five Wossy card, it's so expensive that it's got to be played in something like Magnazone. You can't build a deck around it. You've got to tech it into another deck. And it doesn't have a great non-GX attack, but given that it sets up and it's got an amazing GX attack, I'm willing to forgive it. But as always, when we've got new cards, I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Am I being too enthusiastic or is this GX attack, quite frankly, ridiculous? Go nuts. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, etc., I think you should, but I'm a little bit biased. You can do so at patreon.com slash ptcgradio. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.